I'm Dr. Charles Marcos. I'm a cardiologist and a research scientist. I have been involved with Viva Life Science uh, since 1993, so approximately 12 years. And in the beginning of this association, we uh, both uh, shared a common vision. Both Viva Life Science and myself uh, felt very strongly that we need to look at natural food supplements and find out their uh, science behind the way they affect the body. And based on these scientific findings, we would then develop uh, products that uh, help supplement the uh, natural foods. Uh, because of this approach, we were able to set a new standard in um, natural food supplement industry, whereby the products are based on scientific findings and also there is enough research to substantiate the effects of these uh, products. Because of these findings, we were able to publish um, the uh, uh, discoveries in international journals. We also got acknowledgement for some of the products, for example, the LipoGuard, which is mainly fish oil and garlic combination, was acknowledged by the health department of Taiwan and approved as a uh, beneficial uh, supplement for cardiovascular health. Uh, subsequent to that, the uh, American Heart Association, about a year and a half ago, declared that triglycerides are truly a risk, uh, an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease. And that it was very important because LipoGuard, uh, through its uh, main ingredient, the fish oil, do reduce the uh, triglycerides significantly, as uh, we will talk about in the rest of this presentation. And subsequent to that, recently, in the early part of 2005, uh, the FDA of the United States approved fish oil as a, an important uh, supplement, uh, natural supplement, to treat elevated triglycerides. I would like to go uh, back and review some of the very important studies that we did in the areas of antioxidants and the area of uh, fish oil and omega-3 fatty acids. One of the earlier studies we did actually started in 1993, and that, in my mind, is so significant because at that time, only rarely uh, were there, uh, was there uh, research that was based on uh, double-blinded placebo-controlled studies, just like studies that were done uh, on uh, uh, regular pharmaceuticals. But we chose to be in the frontier and run actually a study that was just that, double-blind, placebo-controlled, and uh, we, where we gave antioxidants to um, normal uh, subjects. And the question we had in mind was first, well, when you take these supplements, does it really make a difference to the level of an antioxidant like vitamin A and vitamin E in your body, or does it simply uh, become like a drop in the ocean where you take the pills but nothing really happens? And the second question, well, if they are antioxidants, do they really lower the level of oxidants in your system? And that was very important because the oxidants in the uh, body have been implicated in initiation of all kinds of illnesses, particularly at least to, to me, the cardiovascular disease, the first step uh, of injury to the arteries is the oxidation of the bad cholesterol and therefore initiating the uh, uh, long uh, cascade of injury to the arterial wall, development of the plaque, and then subsequently rupture of the plaque, causing dep deprivation of the heart from getting enough blood. Also, similar mechanisms are implicated in cancer and other diseases. So that was an important question to answer, not about treatment of disease, but do we, uh, are we really able to lower the level of oxidants in the blood? 
The studies were conducted and subsequently published uh, in an international journal in 19